All right, 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 all right. So I put together the team of the most injured NBA players. The most injured NBA players? Is there like a rank, a barometer? The team of the most notably injured NBA players is a couple that I left off. I'll explain why. Not really any, any really too much of them. What am I saying? One take, who cares? Kawhi Leonard is the first one. It's pretty obvious. He's been out a couple times in his career for a season. Notorious leader of the lo load management movement. And he's been out this entire year. And supposedly he's supposed to be out for the rest of the year as well, regardless of how far the Clippers make it. So there you go. Damian Lillard. Now, I was thinking back and forth about whether or not to put this man on the list, but he started missing games due to an abdominal injury earlier on in the season and then eventually got surgery for it. They did shut him down and he probably could have came back, but if it wasn't for that injury, the Blazers may have not blown up their team like how they did by trading CJ to the Pelicans who just dropped like 32 in the playing game yesterday. And by the way, uh, Dame's team was tied for the 10th seed still when he did get his surgery, so they would have been, you know, they would have probably still at the very least been a playing team if he didn't stop playing. Zion is like the most uh, come on now guys bradley beal another one i was confused on but you know his team was also tied for a playing seed when he got injured and he got injured in february so it's been a couple of months without him and they also traded for christophs around the same time so it's very possible they could have you know maybe made the eighth seed jamal murray's been out the whole season supposedly he's supposed to be done for the season we'll see what happens they it's you know i mean you get it. ben simmons okay so here's the thing right ben's been out the entire year because he didn't want to play for the sixers mental health issues all this stuff and then now though but at the very least now he actually is injured he's supposed to come back later on in the run but it's ben simmons he's been out for the year regardless of why when where what or how he's been out for the year he's been out for the year Lonzo ball just got ruled out for the rest of the season he's known to have injury issues in his previously in his career but uh yeah it would have been a very big difference and i believe the bulls are like zero and eight when he doesn't play against teams that are over 500 or something like that we'll see how they do i think they play the bucks first round we'll see how the hell that goes michael porter jr notorious injury guy he missed his whole first season and now just after signing a max contract extension i believe it was he made like 200 million uh he got injured again he was out here bricking layups opening of the season and then it got announced that he was out for the year got back surgery again i believe now the reason why i picked the orlando magic i i did not address this but it's because of this man jonathan isaac has been out since the bubble i believe i saw something what was it the Bengals that dude uh joe do joe shiesty whatever the hell his name is joe burrow i believe he tore his acl two months after jonathan isaac did and now he went to the super bowl and jonathan isaac tore his ACL on the bubble and has yet to return to the court and what's crazy is that he got injured in january of 2020 as well and was out until the bubble and then he came back and got injured again so he's just everything that could go wrong for jonathan isaac is a player that a lot of people seem to like a lot he started to get his scoring touch going he's, he's a fantastic defender his whole career he's six foot eleven length he could play the three the four the probably the five maybe not he's a little skinnier i don't know he's 230 now whatever but yeah uh it, it's just it's just not going well colin sexton the Cavs just lost the other day to the nets and by the way okay so two players that are not on here jared allen's not on here because he just missed like the last week uh we could put throw evan mobley on the list as well he missed like two weeks john collins is supposed to come back in the playoffs he's only missed like the past four weeks robert williams just recently got injured and still may return i believe shea gildas alexander got injured for the rest of the season but that was like two weeks ago so who cares Colin sex has been out the entire year and even with that the Cavs are what they were the eighth seed maybe playing the nets as eighth or seventh seed they played the playing game they lost and it's tomorrow they got to play the hall the eighth seed so uh, if they had him as well as allen in these playing games you just never know they probably wouldn't have been in the play in the first place if both of them stood healthy as well as mobley ricky rubio i remember he dropped 40 on my knicks which was the most un ricky rubio like thing or maybe just fully in character and he just had to eventually have a game like that remember when andre miller dropped 50 yeah me neither yeah he got injured shortly after that guy traded to the paces for karis lavert he wears number 99 now so he doesn't value anything in life uh tim hardaway jr i don't know man he's just been out uh james wiseman notorious out for the season uh joe harris out and also too just as a you know late addition who was already on the magic bowl bowl i don't know man he's just always injured who cares so uh, obviously i picked the magic because a isaac and b they suck so they won't change anything in the nba we're just gonna see what else changes around the nba uh, surrounding this team or how far they can go i mean they're obviously a fantastic team but they're not a they're they should be a clear final but not in this game uh, i don't know i don't know who could beat them but we'll see I mean, we took ben simmons from the nets we took Kawhi from the clippers we took zion from the pelicans i was about to say not like they'd win anyways but they always win they win very often in 2k uh don't give me any trade offers i don't want nikola vucevic screw you all-star teams hell i don't even remember who's on this team anymore wait oh yeah chris paul was actually out for a good minute too but he's back so you know we're gonna let the suns rock the suns are great as they are too devin booker too this team was supposed to be limited as well to players who are injured you know right now i don't see any of our any of our players but we could check the player stats real quick bradley be leading the team in points with 19 then you got zion lillard and then Kawhi at fourth oh yeah and uh i didn't mention this but i have i, I think we're running a uh, how many man rotation wow they have Kawhi playing the least minutes hey, you know we're running a 
a 13 man just because come on now these guys are injury prone how the hell am i gonna play them all these minutes sure uh don't tell anybody the injuries are off i know i know it's under the table but uh ben simmons center yeah i i just that was an on the fly thing i saw him on the bench and james wiseman starting i said why not make ben simmons a center isaac's a center or a power forward as well well he already was so who, who cares who they, yeah everything else is cool um today don't yo uh never ask why i think of the things that i want to shout out andrew Goudelock. i remember he was the uh, the mvp of the g league in like 2014 he was on the lakers um i i don't know don't ask me how i think of this luca averaged 40 points per game i don't i don't even think we took anybody from him he's just luca javel mcgee six million year. i didn't even say it in the shack voice javel. Arius garland most improved shout to him for dropping like 40 points although he did smoke a layup at the end of that game but we won't talk about it i mean he was guarded he was kind of whatever who cares he was probably tired he was out there carrying the team for the past two weeks um all george all nba second team in response to Kawhi being out for the season uh maybe he would have done this in real life but he was also almost out for the season fifth in the conference nets bucks 76ers hawks and then us that's kind of surprising i didn't think they were going to be as low as five but i mean i guess the hawks sixers bucks and nets are better sure why not i don't know just because we're not playing the stars enough but even the bench is almost all like stars so i mean what, what's the excuse on the west uh the grizzlies are the best team in the league actually shout out to john moran for taking such a leap i feel like though there's an argument to be had not to be had like against young players but like crimes are just naturally coming sooner in the nba like how old is Ja? well Ja did stay at college for two years but like i remember back when i was younger people used to refer to nba primes and be like oh yeah this guy you know when you reach 27 that's your prime no it's not if anything a lot of players that i loved as a kid are went uh you know their primes were up until they were 29 then they got a, a career ending injury that they haven't been the same ever since or 28 or something nowadays like yo like you dominate from like 22 to 26 and then you could and if you're really him you'll still or you just don't get injured you'll still dominate until you're 35 but i mean eric gordon is starting at the three for the utah jazz love it honestly it would be a great addition for this team just because I, I don't know i don't know honestly i want to uh i want to jokingly root for the utah jazz in this playoff year but i'm pretty sure this is like the worst they've been in a minute we'll see what happens now i kind of want to simulate the playoff okay um uh first round against atlanta we get atlanta out of here are we that are we not are we not good enough to just get the hawks out of here i mean the only player that we've got on i don't know man i also kind of just want to see this team play Kawhi's been like my top three favorite players for like 10 years now and then zion just took took my heart and threw it in the garbage by being out for the past two years or two of his three years as well as getting drafted by the pelicans and not the knicks but at least rj barrett's good um guess what despite being the lower seed by like one game we're up 3-0 i, I kind of was just sim casting these just because i want to see this team play like i just said two seconds ago but yeah no it does not matter uh, magic 4-0 sweep they they said screw everybody else uh forget the guys that are supposed to get minutes we're gonna give them three minutes to james wiseman and uh in garbage time probably hopefully maybe the second round though brooklyn this is where it gets interesting okay zion's got to guard kd and it worked just fine i guess because uh okay despite kevin cooking him uh yeah we won would have been on this roster like three three years ago would have been kd it actually that one year would have been kd and curry on it even though the, the year after they they uh kd went to the nets or the year he did go to the nets is curry got injured like the first week of the season andre drummond dropped 37 what did i do recently where drummond was killing it i forget already the video but that man drummond is different this year he also dropped like 16 in the playing game in real life so shout out to him Kyrie 33 drummond 20 uh, but uh it does not matter because beal zion beal keeps taking over for this team Kawhi is just tired like i don't even know nobody has any general idea of how much Kawhi cares we can get a good idea of how much a lot of nba players care we have no clue uh the net's gonna nope they sold they did not score again i was maybe gonna jump in K kd and Kyrie both dropped 30 plus but you gotta realize who the hell is gonna drop 30 plus on our team when we play every single player on the team when ricky rubio is uh, taking minutes from you i mean come on now and that's it that's the series uh Kawhi leonard uh, thank you for the 22 points whenever i say thank you for the x amount of points i always feel like i like a twitch streamer thanking someone for a donation but ben simmons versus bobby portis come on now guys uh but seriously though can we defeat the reigning champions the injured team the injury riddled team hell Giannis, you were very they they said something about like if he had one wrong landing he would have been screwed last year's finals but uh thankfully he didn't and thankfully for them they won game one of the eastern conference finals we're up by two and is it dame time or is it not i do not know will they will he pass it off will he fold ricky rubio is like in at the four or something dame the spin move to the basket it is indeed dame time there he goes give me flashbacks of the dame series the pet oh 
that's what you uh, where is chris middleton going give that guy a no but seriously hold on hold on okay okay thanks to Kawhi for the steal we get it you're the claw we get it we get it but where did chris middleton go watch this he runs the other way just no pickup this is the complete opposite of pick up the ball for some reason he's picking up ben simmons from the other free throw line bro we don't even pick him up from the uh, the regular free throw line yeah Kawhi just ended this one it's over Kawhi leonard thank you i mean chris unless you guys send send to say about it i think Giannis must have fouled out he is not in here jordan noir is tall as hell i did not realize how tall that man is chris middleton queen tween back over bobby portis jab step over ben over to george hill george hill going to the basket layup he gets fouled it's over though it's there's no way they, they only got a two out of that come on now it's over Giannis had 32 but he fouled out and lillard it had 19 including the kind of game winner i don't know him and Kawhi. who cares uh, i don't know why i just clicked simulate game two wow i could have jumped in this one too but i just clicked simulate through game but uh, this series is over i'm not even gonna jump in no more we're up 2-0 actually no i take that back because Kawhi blew a 2-0 lead to Giannis. wait no other way around Giannis blew a 2-0 lead to Kawhi in a 2019 but it doesn't it's 3-0 yeah there's just no way there, okay cool we're in the finals i don't know why we were the fifth seed i didn't change any of the rotations there's no injuries uh ironically terrence mann is starting at point guard well we are playing the clippers the los angeles clippers beat the phoenix suns the playoffs went uh, eerily similar at least in the fact that the the conference finals was the exact same and Kawhi was out yet again but yeah very similar paul george leads his team now he's got norman powell out here averaging 17 which is definitely going to help a lot for them this year in the playoffs as well that meant norman powell is a bucket but uh there's there's just no way right there's there's just no way i mean yeah game one is ours norman powell dropped 31 but it's not going to be enough game two is also ours we won by 40 points paul george uh congrats on trying but it wasn't enough next game yet again and game four your orlando magic have won ricky rubio small forward ricky rubio man my favorite player who's your favorite player that you kind of don't like uh i mine isn't ricky rubio but i've just never like thought about liking ricky rubio so i'm just trying to think of one like you don't really know you like that player but you like that player you enjoy watching them when you watch them but you never really put two and two together in a little bad weather i have no clue what i'm saying because i don't even know the answer to my own question maybe norman powell is mine i don't know and with all of these players who the hell will be the finals mvp shout out to uh honestly i forgot their coach's name i i was about to say wes unsell jr but he's the coach of the wizards i i completely let me look it up oh yeah jamal mosley look at him hoist up the trophy i had to google it on my phone i mean it's not like they really you know blew the league out the water this season they just kind of drowned and ben simmons is the most valuable player of the finals <laughs> yeah 42 from paul george uh ben simmons center ben simmons at that averaged held 10, 10 8 and 5 i guess that was enough Kawhi drops 20 um after being i don't know doubted not doubted doubted by your acls ben simmons finals mvp averaging like the same stats i just said but after like supposedly being the fifth seed and not as good as these other i mean we're only two games back but supposedly five teams were in the same realm if not six as us uh we just only lost one game the entire playoff run beal 18 zion 18 lillard 15 Kawhi. is this playoff stats did i go to the right thing nope no wait i don't i don't know i actually don't remember uh sure wh whatever here's the stats on the screen there you go shout out to colin sexton you could like and subscribe to the channel if you care about my channel at all let's get to uh 10 subscribers by yesterday and i'm gonna get the hell up and out of here cut